How was Joseph a just man? Was he just simply because he did saved Mary from embarrassment for having conceived a child out of wedlock? On the contrary, Joseph, in spite of the very fact that Mary's revelation that she was conceiving a child by the power of the Holy Spirit, even though that seemed too far-fetched for any one of us to believe, yet Joseph believed her. Joseph never questioned her integrity. Joseph trusted in Mary even though he could not explain how it happened. But Joseph never doubted Mary because Joseph had faith in Mary. That is why it's very important to underscore the justice of Joseph was one founded not on the laws, but on faith. So much so that because she said her child was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Joseph had to divorce her, not because she had committed adultery, but rather because she was bearing the child of God. And Joseph saw himself unworthy to marry Mary, unworthy to be the father of Jesus. It was only after the angel who revealed to Joseph that God had a plan not only for Mary, but for him as well. But being the foster father of Jesus, to give Jesus credibility, and most of all, to fulfill the scriptures that Jesus was truly a son of David, belonged to the dynasty of David. It was not Mary who named Jesus and gave Jesus that name. It was Joseph. Why? Because only the father of the family has the authority to name his child. My dear brothers and sisters, the faith that we are speaking of Joseph, therefore, was a justifying faith. Of course, Joseph was a man who respected the laws. He was obedient to the laws. But more than just the laws, it was obedience out of faith. And faith goes beyond the laws. Faith, therefore, does not require proof. That is why Joseph never asked Mary, what proof have you got to show me that God has chosen you? In faith, he believed in Mary. Justifying faith doesn't mean to say we simply trust in God. More than that, this trust in God must also be concretized in obedience in works of charity. Joseph was a man of great faith. He had so much faith that immediately when he woke up, he did what the angel told him to do. It was therefore a faith that is expressed in obedience. The faith of Joseph was expressed throughout the life of Mary and Jesus. In faith, when it was time for the child to be born, he went to Bethlehem to register the child as a son of David. And just imagine there was no room for them. But Joseph never complained, accepted in faith. When the shepherds came to announce that the angel appeared to them, when the Magi came in faith, in contemplation, he accepted the works of God, the miracles, in reverence, in awe. In faith too, when the child was being persecuted by King Herod, he left to a foreign land. You just imagine, in a foreign land, nobody knew he was a carpenter. He had no clients. How to survive? But he went in faith that God will surely take care of him. He did not get angry with God. Unlike us, when we do God's will, we make so many complaints. How come God is not helping us? How come we are suffering? How come God does not uh, intervene to save us? Joseph never did. In faith, he went. In faith, we are called to be like him, 
a faith that comes from prayerful contemplation, Joseph never speak in the gospel, but he listened attentively to the word of God. And we too must do that. 